Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this typewriter effect in Unity using Text Mesh Pro. There is another technique that adds each letter to the sentence and showing them one by one, but it has some problems too. The main problem is performance. Since this method uses string operations to achieve this effect, it would result in a bunch of garbage collection. If your target platform is mobiles or consoles, then you shouldn't choose this method. Another problem it has is if you're using tags in your text fields, then you will need some other method to ignore them also. You know, it can be a real headache. So the solution is we use Text Mesh Pro's own class to create the effect. So I have an empty project open here in Unity. To make a Text Mesh Pro text, right click on the hierarchy, go to UI and click on Text Mesh Pro text. I'm changing the font size for the better view. Now let's create a C sharp script and start creating our effect. Let's name it text anim and open it in Visual Studio. In Text Mesh Pro, there is a function called max visible characters. We can set the number of visible characters by using this method. So we are going to write a logic that creates typewriting effect by using this method. For that, I'm making a serialized field of text mesh pro variable and an array of strings for entering our text. Delete the update method, we don't need that right now. Let's make a coroutine called text visible. Type private i enumerator text visible and inside it, first thing we want to do is we want to get the number of text that is visible of the text object. For that, we are using a utility class of Text Mesh Pro called TextInfo. TextInfo has other information like space count, word count, line count, page count, etc. etc. It also includes structures like array of characters called character info. So here let's make an invariable called total visible characters is equal to textmeshpro.textinfo.character count. I'm also initializing a counter that is zero. Next, we need to make each character visible by this method called TextMeshPro.MaxVisibleCharacters. For that, make a while loop and inside it type TextMeshPro.MaxVisibleCharacters is equal to visible count. We need to increment visible count as the time goes. For that, type visible count is equal to counter modulus total visible characters plus 1. After that, increase the counter by 1 and yield return new wait 4 seconds. I'm typing time between characters here and initializing it as a serializable float value. We need to break the loop once the whole sentence is completed and then assign next sentence to the text mesh pro. To check whether the sentence is completed animating, we need to check whether the visible count is greater than or equal to the total visible characters. And inside it, we need to call a method to assign our next sentence in the array. Use invoke to display the current animator sentence on the screen for some time, which delays the calling of the function for a given time period. I'm typing the name of function as ncheck and the time as time between words, then initializing it as a serializable float value, then break. We need one more in value called i, I am initializing it as 0. In the end check function, I am checking whether the i is less than or equal to the string array length minus 1. If it is, then I will just assign the text in the array to our text mesh probe and call the coroutine. Inside the coroutine, I am gonna increment the i as I want to access the next string in the array. We need to do one more thing in the coroutine, that is text mesh pro dot force mesh update. It will force a regeneration of text for the text object, which is necessary in our case. Finally, call the ncheck function in start. Save that, get back to Unity and type some values and text in the inspector. And hit play. There you have it, your sweet typewriting animation using Text Mesh Pro. If you want to add button for showing next sentence, it's so simple. Just comment the calling of ncheck function and make that function public. Save that, get back to Unity, make a button, drag and drop our text mesh pro object on the on click slot, select the function and check and click play. Now the next sentence only appears when we press the button. Cool right? 
You can change the speed between characters and also the speed between sentences. And that's it, that's the end of this video. You can download this project by clicking the link in the description below. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.